Hi guys, it's Karen McCullough and I am so happy to be back. But you know, over the last few months, I have been going through so many changes and I found that I have a little change fatigue. How about you? If you do, stay tuned. Yeah, wow, the changes that have been coming have been unbelievable for me, right? My entire business, I am a live keynote speaker. I travel around, I get on airplanes, I go to conferences, I stay at hotels, and I present live to hundreds, even thousands of people, and that's gone, yeah. So I've had to totally pivot. We've heard that word so many times, but I've had to be living in this pivot. I have changed my office into a studio, and now I am doing virtual presentations. And you know what? I like it. But I have to admit that I have been struggling. I've been struggling with so many of the changes. What I learned over this time being with myself was that I have a lot of negative language. Here I am, like a positive motivational speaker speaking on change, and I'm realizing I have issues with change. I've heard myself say, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I am terrible with technology. Um, I found myself saying, I can't put this together because I've had to put together so many of the pieces in this office because I really am awful when it comes to reading instructions. And maybe you say things like, oh, I'm always late. Or how about this one? You know what? I can never lose weight because I'm always on a diet and I don't lose. What I'm being noticing about myself and maybe with you is that we're our own worst enemies when it comes to change. We use negative language and we talk about ourselves as if we can never, ever make that change. So I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision to embrace what was going on around me, to embrace the technology, to love my microphone, to figure out how to make these lights work and also how to present virtually through a computer and not on a stage. I had to watch what I said. So instead of saying, I'm not great with technology, I had to say, you know what? I'm open to learning because I know that this is the way it's going to be for me for maybe a long time. We're, we're not sure. I had to learn how to use positive language. So now I've gone on a diet and I'm saying that I really embrace healthy living. I find that I'm wanting to exercise more because I've taken on the identity of somebody who takes care of their body and who is healthy. So my lesson for today is easy. It's just to stop, stop with the negative language, stop hurting yourself. Because today, the goal is not perfection. Today, the goal is progress. Hey guys, I'm Karen McCullough. Stay tuned and you'll hear another lesson from the road. Take care and embrace change.